All right, so an evaporator coil, I got stuff that I'm worried about. I got my sensing bulb here. I got my TXV over here. I have also this insulation. And now that I got these aluminum coils, the aluminum can't handle near as much copper, much heat as that copper can. So I got a braze right here. What do you suggest? We're going to do a lot of protection. We're going to do extra protection. So we're going to start off with our wet rag heat blocking putty. It feels like sand. It feels, I like it. I think it feels I'm nice. I'm going to call it sandy. <laughs> So it's we're like just this? gonna, yeah, you're you just want. gonna kind of clump, clump it on there. I always kind of say you don't. There's not too much since it is reusable. Right, let's just okay. Use maybe it there up. is. Maybe there is. But <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you want to make sure you get it right around. Make sure there's no holes and it's all pressed tightly against the pipe. It's looking pretty good. Like that is that what you want? Pretty good. All right. And then what? And then we're also gonna do the heat shield since we've got lots of stuff surrounding here that we don't want to melt. We're going to tuck this in here. What about if I have this and I don't want that to get hot? Can mm -hmm. I put it all the way down? Of course. Oh, looky there. So now, if, now I don't want to melt this aluminum, but also if this is a painted cover or a painted piece, then I can protect it from the torch because sometimes I get carried away with the end of that torch. I'm focused on what I'm working with and then uh, it starts melting. So. We ready to fire it up? I think so. All right, I'm gonna put some safety glasses on. Tinted glasses. First. And I've done this a lot of times. How about we let you do it? This feels like a moment, passing the torch. Passing the torch, I <laughs> love this. Let's put that flame a little bit closer. Where you see that little inner tip, you want that inner tip right up against that copper. So not the tip of the torch, but that blue tip and that'll be the most heat in there. And this is what we say when the, the heat is on. <laughs> we need like the Jeopardy sounds. Look, so now we're starting to change colors. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're hot enough yet. We'll give it a shot. Oh, look at oh. there, right out. Boom. Now that's red hot. It's uh, like a chili pepper. We're gonna drop that in the water. We don't want to accidentally, uh... Oop. yep, definitely, <laughs> definitely hot. Now let's see what, uh, what happened back here. Let's see what this looks like. Well, so far so good. Let's, um, let's peel some of this back and see what happens. Oh, look, it's still wet. And all of that's reusable, so you can use it the next time you're going to do something like this. We'll put this back in the back wet in rag the bucket. Now it says Viper. Is this going to bite me? <laughs> no. <laughs> now, how'd you come up with the name Viper? So the Viper actually started from the aerosol. Um, our founder, John, thought that when he sprayed it, it was like the venom coming out of the snake's mouth. Now, John is pretty awesome. I ask John uh, technical questions, physics questions, and chemistry questions all the time. And he always takes the time not only to, exp to tell me the answer, but explain how. So do you guys ever get the chance to meet John? He is quite a brilliant person, and he has helped me learn a lot. John's great. He's such a good resource, and he's always excited and happy to help. Okay, so I got, my, uh, got the stuff off. Let's feel it. Wow. That's cool to the touch. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not gonna touch that, but this was just right there. So I know that we've protected this. We can see we don't have any discoloration here. So yeah. that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna do this one. Sure. You wanna light it this time? Mm, sure. All right, so just take <laughs> this, uh, the, the uh, oxygen. It's like a, like an eighth of a turn. Okay. Got to do the little tap. Let's give it just a little bit more. Just barely, okay. now, do you feel any? Mm-hmm. All right, now take this one and turn about a quarter of a turn. Right about there. Okay, I'll strike it. You ready? Mm -hmm. Teamwork. Boom, look at that. Okay. I'd give it just a little bit more oxygen. This one? Yep. A little bit more. I'd give it just a little bit less acetylene. A little bit more. Perfect. Right there. Well, let's give it just a little bit more acetylene. Open it just a little bit. Now we can see that there's two tips right there. Mm -hmm. That's better. So now we're just going to take and we'll put my glasses back on because <laughs> safety first. You don't want that to pull, <laughs> blow out. So we'll just get yeah, the same thing you did before. Heat that piece up. 
Let's take it apart. Let's put that tip right close to the copper. Up oh, right there. Boom, red hot, like a chili pepper. We see that that's still red hot. Uh, you know what, let's, while we're here, let's put the torch right up against that and see what happens. See if it's gonna melt that aluminum. I got overexcited and turned it off. That's all right, I was, it's a last <laughs> minute thought. I have these ideas, you know, always when it's, uh, when it's too late. All right, you wanna do it? Sure. All right, so what we'll do is, this coil is, uh, so I don't think we're gonna be reusing it. So just press the, the flame up against that aluminum right there behind the shield. Let's see what would happen to it. So you can see it's, it just put a big oh, giant hole in it. That, massive that hole. fast. I mean, that was quick. The whole thing is gone. <laughs> so now we're gonna push right here. There's a YouTube end right there. Now this is uh, the original YouTube. These were around before the, the internet. Woo, I can't even keep my arm up there, it's yeah, so high. Yeah, it's pretty warm. What do you think, it's good? HVAC, the hottest jobs. <laughs> I don't know, you know what, let's just, let's just really get it in there. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, like, let's burn the heck out of it. Let's send it to Hades, right? We're just gonna burn the heck out of it. All right, so, yeah, surely that would've done it. I mean, nobody's gonna accidentally do that. So let's see what we got. Look at that, it's, this even turns. And look, it's still flexible, it's pliable. No damage. I mean, I think I can turn it off this time. Yeah, sure, you can turn it <laughs> off. I uh, think we're good. Here we have our TXVs, nice and protected. And I'm not going to touch this side, but over here, this is still cool to the touch. We're going to put it back in our container. If it's cool to the touch, we know that all the pieces inside are protected. That's what it is. It's a, a way, what I like about this is versus a wet rag that's leaking and dripping water all over the customer's floor. And also, any of these connections I'm taking loose, all that steam, it's affecting my flame. That steam can get inside. If it's PoE oil, that PoE oil can then turn to an acid, which we can't pull out with a vacuum pump. So we're protecting it. It's nice and clean. And any of this that's left over, once it cools off, it comes off really fast. And then also I can use water. I can add water to that and it will come right off. And then this is my favorite. A uh, long time ago, I used to use these asbestos pieces before we knew how horribly bad that was to help prevent it from burning stuff. And then when these came out, I thought it was the most awesome thing. I've been using mine for several years now and uh, it's a pretty awesome thing. And this is one of the things I would highly, highly recommend for anybody. Anything else for us? I was gonna say uh, a wet rag will actually take the residue right off any of the pipe surfaces. Well, let's try it out. An actual wet rag. <laughs> now this is all flaking off. As it's cooling off, it's coming off. But if you have any of that stubborn on there, oh, look at that. You can't even tell it was ever there. What? No way. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, hvacrschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast, available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications, available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex by Tex.